Hi everybody, welcome back to Simply Scuba. We're back with another Top Tip Tuesday this week, tips about your diving logbook. Now, I know your logbook isn't the most interesting piece of gear inside of your kit bag, but it is quite important to keep track of your diving career. And after filling out quite a few of them myself, um, I've, I've got a few tips to, uh, to share with you. Don't bring your entire logbook and binder on a short trip. There's no need to bring 300 blank pages of logs if you're only likely gonna do 20 dives on a trip. If you have a bound proper log book and not loose pages, then you have little choice, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, don't pull and rip your book apart. But if you're like me and you use loose pages in a binder, leave all but just any useful pages at home and only take enough pages for the number of dives that you're likely to make plus a few spare just in case but there's no sense to bring just a whole bunch of either filled out pages from your entire dive career um, or blank pages um, so yeah it's not really worth it it's not worth bringing logs from when you were diving in a completely different climate or different time of year or too many pages that you'll ever need for that trip so just leave them at home and only bring what pages you actually need Avoid using shorthands. If you're anything like me, that shorthand message that you wrote in the comments section might have made sense when you actually wrote it, but five years later, I have no idea what that means. So spend a little bit of extra time and write things out properly so that future you can actually read it and know what you're trying to say. That's the whole point of a logbook, so that you can go back and see what the water temperature was or how much lead you needed in that area when you then go back a few years later. You don't have to work it out and, uh, and sort of hope and try because you've already done it. Just, just write it down. Organize your logs. Now, there are a few ways that you can do this and organize them. You can go the simple chronological route and just start at dive one and then just fill in the next page and just keep going uh, on your adventures. Or you could get a little bit creative. If you dive in a range of environments, you could have one book for or a binder per location, um, which makes referring back to old dives easier. Uh, you can have one book for your UK diving, diving in fresh water, uh, the Red Sea, where, wherever you frequent. Uh, your dives will still be in chronological order because you add dives to that specific binder. The only difference is, is that the dive number is just gonna skip a few every now and then. Similar to avoiding shorthand, fill in all of the details. I know it can get really boring and repetitive when you're on uh, like a liverboard, but all of that information is really useful down the road. If I wanted to know what thickness suit to bring or what the water temperature was at a certain time of year, I can look back and see all of that information as well as the amount of lead that I was wearing, how warm or how cold I was. That and I often write down whether I felt heavy or light in the water with that amount of lead. Just be sure to write down what gear you were diving with as well so that you know whether to add or subtract and that way you can refer back to it and actually know what to wear. Check your pages are dry before putting them away. Logbook pages are made from a, a range of different papers and paper substitutes. Standard paper, you tend to know how that's gonna act and when ink is dry before you put it away, but some logbook pages are made from that shiny paper. That does take a long, long time for any ink to dry. You close your logbook and then the next time you open it up, there's a mirror copy on that fresh page and now you've got to scrap that page. Especially with stamps, um, stamps can take a really long time to dry because of the ink that they use is slightly different. So. Give it a few minutes to dry properly before closing the pages or just use a pencil. Actually fill your logbook out. I went through a stage of not logging my dives for a couple of years just because I was in and out of the water so often and I regret that now because while most of the information is on one of my dive computers and it is somewhere in the ether, it, it only tells me the basic information and doesn't say 
where I was or what I was doing. I, I don't have a, a fancy Garmin with a GPS that says exactly where I was diving, but don't leave it to the end of the trip or even to the end of the day sometimes because it only takes a couple of minutes to fill out a logbook page. So just sit your butt down, fill it out. The same if you're downloading dives to an app as well on your phone. Fill those blanks in whilst it's there and fresh in your mind so that you have all of the information and it's not a few hours later and which dive site we're at for dive number two. There are plenty of good dive log apps out there nowadays. That way you don't even need to compromise and only bring pages that you'll need. You can just fill out all of the information digitally on your phone or your tablet. Just spend a while looking around different apps because there's quite a few on the app store and whatnot as some will suit your needs better than others. And of course, some manufacturers make their own that will be able to talk and connect to, uh, to your dive computer so that you can change the settings on your computer and download logs and whatnot. But it can be nice to find a, a good third party app as well that you find easier to fill out or something that lets you fill in the information that you want to that's specific to you and then you can upload that to social media all sorts of clever things nowadays that there, there are lots of apps out there so spend a little bit of time just downloading some of them checking them out and then picking your favorite if you find one logbook page style that you really like then invest in a few it's really annoying when you buy a logbook that you love the layout and size and everything, but when you come to the end of it and then you're having a look online to buy a replacement, they, oh, sorry, they don't make that layout anymore or they don't make that size anymore. It won't bug some divers, I know, but for me, I'll, I'll always have one extra spare or a whole bunch of extra spare pages just in case so that when I come to the end of it, I, I don't have to change to a completely new style of logbook. I just hate it when information is in a different place on different pages and things don't start to line up. So if you're a bit like me and you like things nice and uniform and organized, uh, just buy one or two extras when you can. Bring your most recent logged dive with you on your trip. It can save you some time and money as well trying to convince the dive center that you don't actually need a scuba review because you went diving last month. But unless you can show them a physical page or something to that effect, some dive centers will really pressure you to try and do a scuba review with them before you can go diving. So if you've been diving in the last six months, it's best to bring that page with you. Uh, it really deflates their side of the argument. And those were a few of the uh, tips that I could think of for your logbooks. Another quite useful one is uh, just get yourself a stamp. Stamps are good and fun and uh, just a little bit different and you can get different colors and styles. Uh, this one is a, a custom one that I, I actually sort of made. So, um, or I had made for me, sorry. So yeah, just, they're not that expensive. Just invest in your own stamp. And um, yeah, just remember to fill out your logbook because over your diving career, that way you just, you have everything there with you. You have all of the information and you can refer back to it. But if you've got any helpful tips that you've picked up over your diving career about your logbook or how to fill them out or wherever it is, let everybody know down in the comments. And if you have any logbook app recommendations, let them know down in the comments as well. Remember to like and subscribe and recommend us to your diving buddies. And of course, head over to simplyscuba.com for all of your diving needs. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.